This is a News 2 breaking news alert. We're following breaking news as the search for Riley Strain intensifies this morning. The Cheatham County Sheriff confirms to News 2 they will be focusing efforts around the Cheatham Dam around noon today. The sheriff says this will be a basic shutdown. Strain has been missing for 12 days now since disappearing from downtown Nashville. We have a live look at the Cumberland River now here in Nashville where the surge has been stepped up this morning. We have a team of reporters covering the surge at this hour. Staying here in Nashville, Metro Police are searching by water and in the air for that missing college student, Riley Strain here. News 2's Peyton Kennedy is live from Riverfront to explain what the search effort is looking like at this hour, Peyton. Yeah, Nicole, this is the most official activity we have seen along the riverfront in about a week. I have seen two Metro Police Department boats on the water, as well as an Office of Emergency Management boat on the water. They have their investigators on those boats and along the riverfront here on the ground. Now, the boats on the water have been surveying up and down the river. They've also specifically been circling around the James Robertson Parkway bridge post that is closest to Gay Street. It's a very steep cliffs cliffside here. Here that they had been looking up at. It's the last point that Riley's phone pinged before he went missing. The OEM says they're here at the request of the MMPD. I've seen OEM officials as well huddling around a map of the Cumberland River. I'm also told that there have been drones that will be used today. The police department tells me their efforts are a continuation of yesterday's work. They will also have helicopters and assistance from the Cheatham County Sheriff's Office. And beyond that, I have seen multiple Multiple spectators this morning who have been walking up and down the riverfront, live streaming, taking photos and videos. And now another group is here. They're hanging up missing persons flyers for Riley. So we will keep you posted on this from all angles. Live in Nashville, Peyton Kennedy, News 2. Thank you, Peyton. And the family of Riley Strain remains in Nashville talking with officials. And this morning, we're learning about a significant meeting with the mayor. Allie Lynch is at the WKRN.com alert desk with those details now. Well, Nikel, that's right. As of this morning, we know Riley's parents had a sit down meeting with Nashville Mayor Freddie O'Connell. Now, what was discussed in that meeting, we're still working to find out. Riley's dad told News 2 they had a meeting with Mayor O'Connell sometime yesterday. The mayor's office released a statement saying, in part, the mayor invited Riley Strain's family to meet, but out of respect to Riley's family and their desire for privacy, the mayor's office will not be commenting on any discussions the mayor had with the family. Nikel. Riley's family has also enlisted help from the United Cajun Navy to help them organize search parties. The group is made up of volunteers and usually responds to natural disasters across the country. For the people here in Nashville, keep your eyes open, keep your ears open. Um, if you see anything that might help us locate Riley, by all means, uh, reach out to the United Cajun Navy or reach out preferably to the Nashville Police Department. And if you know anything about this, please come forward and say so. At this time, police said there is still no evidence pointing to foul play. We'll continue to show you the newest video as police work to find Riley. You can see all of our continuing coverage at WKRN.com.